Oh gosh, Sean. What have we got ourselves into? This is full on, man. For those of you who don't know, Sean and I are buddy reading in Arcopolis and we decided to make videos about our reactions um, rather than speaking to each other on the Voxer app. So this is part of that whole Indian literature love that Sean and I had and we posted videos back in, I don't know when it was, at the start of the year. We're finally getting to reading some Indian fiction. This was a book that we both chose to read, but oh, I was not prepared for this. If Sean has posted his initial reaction yesterday and I'll leave a link to that in the description box below so go watch that and then come back to me um, because yeah he gives a very good summary of what this book is about I, I, I don't think I can help you with understanding what this book is about because I really have no idea myself that's kind of where I'm at Sean, I think you're loving this book a lot more than I am. I think this is an interesting exploration for me into what people bring to a book. So for me, I bring a lot of stuff that doesn't sit well with this book. This book is essentially about drug addicts, about opium users, about heroin users, in the streets of Bombay. As with a lot of people, I've been touched by the tragedy of heroin use in my family and in my life. And so reading this and seeing the vulnerability of the people that are using really upsets me. So we start out with some obnoxious narrator, didn't like him at all, glad he's left the scene. And then we move on to Dimple, who I am so connected to and I'm so sad for. The way it was explained that she got into start using this drug saddened me to my core. And then how she is surviving on the streets of Bombay saddens me even more. And then she has a friend, Mr. Lee, who um, also is a user and also prescribes the use of opium for some problems that she had just it it just it, it makes me intensely sad and it's very hard for me to read that um, I didn't like the diversion into China like you did Sean I mean it was a great story but I really am connected to Dimple and want to stick around chatting with her and seeing how her life turns out. I want this to be a happy ending, but the tone of this book certainly, <laughs> I mean, and that's real life on the streets of Bombay, isn't it? It's not going to always be happy endings. Another thing that I'm bringing to this is that I don't like dream sequences in books. And I sometimes find it hard, especially at the start, to determine who's in a drug haze or whether this is really happening or people are talking about their dreams when they're you know after they've smoked a pipe and I just I, I, oh, I yeah I get really frustrated with working out what's reality and what I need to invest in and what's just a fleeting dream that somebody's had under the influence of opium so that's really frustrating me as well the thing that's keeping me going in this book is because I am invested in Dimple as a character and I want to know what happens to her. I'm intensely worried for her. I, I just want her to be okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm not getting what I bargained for with this book and what I thought was going to come was this narrative following this person who's, you know, running away from, you know, the underground of Bombay and all of the dangers that come with it and perhaps it to be more of a story. Does that make sense? Whereas I just feel like we're just being introduced to characters and we're just getting a scene. I don't feel like there's a complete story that's ever gonna come out of this. You know, a start, a middle and a conclusion. Does that make sense? So I'm feeling a little bit uneasy about what's being presented to me because it's not what I expected. Luckily, I get to chat to Joe Smith about this on the Vox app. So Sean, you're running solo with this and I don't know how you do it because I'm kind of 
chatting to Joe and letting it all blur out before I kind of come to you with some sort of babble that's slightly more coherent than what I'm giving to Joe. So um, yeah, I'm proud of you, Sean. Of course, I'm going to continue with Nicopolis and I'll give you my thoughts, everybody, as well as you, Sean, when I finish the book in a few more days. I hope that something changes for me. So I start connecting with this book rather than being fearful of it. Um, I really think that now that I've spoken my thoughts to you and to Joe, things might start turning around, but I'm, yeah, I'm not loving it. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you with a bit of a musical surprise. Um, of course, I got the Australian reference in here and that song, Down Under by Men at Work, is every Australian knows that song. And when it came up, I was like, oh, Where's the Bombay reference in that song? Even though I know every word off by heart, but we found it. And then I made my husband sing it with his guitar so that you all can know what the song is too and hear the Bombay reference. <laughs> anyway, I will chat to you, Sean, and to everybody else in a few days when I finish this book. Wish me luck. Bye. I need Slacked off, not much to say. He said to the man, Are you trying to tap me? Because I come from a land of plenty. And he said, Do you come from a land of love? Well, the women troll and chunder. Can you hear, can you hear the thunder? You better run. Fat for dad. Yay! Thanks, Bobby.